Now, I recently had a difficulty with my phone, whereby for love nor money, I couldn't connect my mobile hotspot to my TV and other aspects in my house. It could connect to the phone, to the hotspot, but I couldn't get an external connection to the internet. I factory reset the phone, I did lots of things, and I finally found the source of the problem. The source of the problem is my mobile service provider blocking my mobile hotspotting. This is because mobile hotspotting now has become so effective that it can run a lot of things in the house from the phone, which is obviously eating into their margins in terms of modems and selling mobile at home. So here is the solution for me. I'm living in the Republic of Ireland and my service provider is Vodafone. And what you need to do is you need to go into settings. Then you go to connections. Now, again, this is for this example is using a phone which is connected to pay as you go on Vodafone network in Ireland. Now, it may be the case that similar operators outside of the country or even other operators in the country are doing the same thing. So this may be beneficial for you also. So again, getting back to the, the, the issue at hand, I go to connections and I go to mobile networks. Then I go to access point names. A big shout out to boards.ie because this is the original place where I found the solution. All you need here is Vodafone Live. So Vodafone Live exclamation mark. Somewhere in any of the, somewhere in either of these other options, IMS, XCAP, Vodafone MMS, Vodafone MISP, Vodafone have injected some means by which to block mobile hotspotting. So the solution is very simple. Delete everything here except Vodafone Live. Now again, this is prefaced by me saying this has worked for me. This is for those who are pay-as-you-go on Vodafone network in the Republic of Ireland. And as I said to you previously, it may be the case that you have a similar situation with your service provider. So what you do is you go in and you delete everything except the Vodafone Live. Now, it may be the case I haven't tested it, but it may be the case that I could have done a test with each one to see whether I'd be able to identify the incriminating um, access point name. But nonetheless, this has solved the problem for me. And if you just simply do a restart, perhaps change the the actual mobile hotspot name and password as well, just to be sure, to be sure. And if you're connecting to the TV and whatnot, maybe change the the name on the name of your hotspot. There are reset the hotspot, the network configuration on the device that you wish to connect to. So that is the end of this video. After several weeks of tearing out my hair in trying to find a solution, I have now found the solution to my hotspotting, saving me considerable amounts of money per month. And hopefully this will remedy your problem if you have the same issue. Thank you for watching.